I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday the 8th of November. Hey, we're starting off the day with freezing temperatures in many spots, and you think it's cold now. Just wait until the end or the middle of next week. Coldest air so far this season coming down the pipe. We'll talk about that. Uh, let's go to the big picture this morning. This is the water vapor satellite view. And you can see that large-scale upper trough over the east. And again, it's progressive, but Bannett did its job. It really brought some cold air in the, down the pipe. These were the numbers at daybreak this morning. 30 for Fort Payne and Decatur. 32 for Gadsden. Haleyville, 31. Uh, Birmingham sitting at 34. Uh, the frost is widespread. And uh, tomorrow morning, we go in the 30s as well. But uh, the air, of course, very dry, so no rain for a while. And around the nation, it's really cold over much of the uh, country. Coldest air sitting up in uh, parts of northern Minnesota. Looks like they're in the uh, single digits up there in those purple colors. Of course, uh, with this uh, stable air mass in place, severe weather, not a problem. That's the watch warning map about the only issue. Some winter weather advisories up in the northwest and the counties in Alabama. Those are frost advisories for this morning. And, you know, the way that works, uh, once you've had a frost or two, the weather service offices stop issuing those things. And I would assume for Birmingham, they'll stop. And we've had a several of those. That's the reason you don't see them for... Huntsville and Nashville. Uh, rain for the next five days, not very much. This is the rain for the next, or uh, cares just through Wednesday morning of next week. And this is showing just a trace. And there might be a sprinkle or two Wednesday or a Tuesday night or Wednesday morning of next week with the air coming in that's cold. But significant rain not going to happen for a while. And goodness, I wonder what happened in the Philippines. We'll find out. Uh, hopefully they were prepared. This is uh, Haiwan. And locally in the Philippines, they call it Yolanda, so it's kind of confusing. It's the same storm. Uh, clearly, it's in a weakened state. And understand, you know, all these winds we're tossing out, these are wind estimates based on satellite data. They don't do Hurricane Hunter reconnaissance missions over there. So we really don't know the observed winds. But uh, no doubt that thing was uh, historic as it came into the islands. Uh, potentially, the sustained winds were 195 miles an hour, but it's greatly weakened now, and we'll find out. As the communication comes back, what happened uh, later today. Uh, next up, that'll be headed toward Vietnam uh, as a weakened system. Should be a Category 1 or a Category 2 at the next landfall uh, over at Vietnam. Check the uh, modeling. This is the 06 GFS valid at noon today at 500 millibars. Big trough over the northeast, a short wave over the Dakotas, and down below that. We'll be in great shape today. Sunny and cool. High will be around 60, some spots not getting out of the 50s. The wind, not as fierce as yesterday. In fact, the winds today will be light. So among the high school football games tonight, good weather. Cold, bring a jacket, fantastic. Clear, no chance of rain. Tomorrow, sunny Saturday to kick off the weekend. Uh, we'll call it partly sunny, probably some high clouds around. Uh, we'll start the day in the 30s. The high should be in the low to mid-60s. Sunday. Another great day. Lows in the 40s, highs in the 60s, bright sunny weather. Go to next week, and man, you can see what's coming. You can see that train coming down the tracks. A 1045 millibar high moving down into North Dakota. But for us, Monday should be pretty comfortable. The high will be in the uh, 60s again. This is Tuesday. And even Tuesday, some of the cold air begins to move in here. The, uh, uh, the latest... Uh, GFS is dropping the high down to about 60 on Tuesday. That's a 1,046 millibar high near Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, Tuesday night, <clears throat> really no evidence of any significant precipitation with this. There could be some clouds. And again, somebody similar might see a sprinkle, but I don't think it's significant enough to mention any chance of rain with this. And this is Wednesday. Energy uh, diving down over the southeast United States and down below that, a very cold high settles in here. Uh, Wednesday could be a day where we don't get out of the 40s. That's a very cold air mass coming down the pike. And uh, we start the day Wednesday probably at freezing. This is Thursday. Thursday morning should be our coldest morning. We'll be, should go in the 20s. Here's a look at the uh, temperature anomalies at 5,000 feet. This is coming off the European uh, valid Wednesday evening. And uh, that's a very, very cold air mass down through here. Uh, those temperatures are way, way uh, below average. And again, uh, we'll see the numbers fluctuate, but I clearly think that Thursday morning, everybody goes way down in the 20s, and we might see some of those colder pockets making a run at the upper teens. And that's very cold for November. We'll be close to record low temperature levels. And this is Friday. A week from today, we'll start to moderate, uh, but still cool. I, I think even on Friday of next week, highs will be in the uh, 50s. 
The next significant rain that shows up on the GFS is around uh, November 20th uh, with a cold front coming in, but that's not really a severe weather look. All the main dynamics are pretty far north of here. And on the 23rd of November, troughing over the east and a cool air mass in place. But the good news, we see no sign of any severe weather problems here for the next 15 days, and that's good because, as we often point out, this is the fall tornado season here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. And if you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.